Okay, everybody, today we are doing a spring summer glam makeup look. <laughs> yes, bitches, I'm back. <laughs> If you're new to this channel, I'm Bridget Harrison, aka Bridget H, hairstylist, makeup artist, content creator, and now blogger. Welcome to my channel, Beauty for the Everyday Woman, where we do tips, tricks, reviews, hauls, sometimes a vlog here and there. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite eyeshadow color for spring and summertime makeup, and who makes the eyeshadow? The first thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with the brows. I like doing my brows first. I'm going to use a Benefit pencil. Make sure your eyes are well groomed. I like to start right in the middle of my arch, my tail, and then work my way down to the beginning of the brow. I like to use the end of the wand to soften up the brow and brush it out. So depending on how you want your brow to look, you could blend and brush. Sometimes you can use pomade and sometimes you can use powder. I want my brow to pop, but I don't want my brow to look really hard. Now, both of my brows are done. I'm going to go in with my P. Louise. I like to mix four and two together. And again, I like to start right at the arch. And work my way down to the beginning of the brow. And then I'm just going to pull the product down and do my best not to get this product in the brow because I have a bad habit of doing that. And I'm gonna take my Stilizzi brush. It's a this is a Stilizzi crease brush. I like the way it brings blend friends. <laughs> I like the way it blends out creams. So that's what I use it for. I'm about to start with the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna use a mixture of Natasha Denona's eyeshadows. I have the mini love the mini Zindu in the mini nude palette. For my crease, I'm going to start off with a soft brown, which is luminal in the mini nude palette. I love Natasha's eyeshadows because they go on so smooth and heavily pigmented. To have a little fun, I have my Visor Pro Palette and I use, it's a matte, because mattes don't stick well, I just don't work with mattes well. Let's start there, it's me, it's user error. But I put a matte pink because I still wanted to give it more of a summer look and it still has like a shimmer to it and I put a little pink on top. Now, I'm gonna go in with a blue liner and some blue shadow to spice it up. The blue liner is by Makeup Forever. Now the reason why I went in with my blue liner first is because I want the color to pop. So instead of going in, it's just like an eyeshadow base. So instead of just going in with the blue shadow and you can barely see it, I'm going in with the blue liner and then I'm gonna go in with my blue eyeshadow. I'm gonna use Sapphire Sky. It's a palette I got from Target Mirage. I don't know if they still have it. I think they actually do. Here's the thing. You don't have to use what I'm using, but if you can finally get it, you know I'm gonna have it linked below. If you have a blue shadow at home, you don't need to go out and buy something new. You guys, we're having fun. <laughs> so I'm about to do my liquid liner. I'm using Ink A Lot. Okay guys, I have a new foundation. I totally love. I did make up for this lady and she has some Lancome. Skin feels good. I have honey and tan and I'm mixing them together. Now, if you put too much of one color, it's nothing. Take my honey, squirt some to the side. 
take another brush and go over it. It's simple to get that balance. If it's too much, I do this all the time. Honestly, usually I put too much honey. Now I'm gonna go in with the Huda, 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 Huda cream contour. And I'm gonna line out exactly where I wanna warm up my skin. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe brush and blend it in. I like this brush because it buffs it out. So it blends and gives it a good finish. If I wanted to add more, I could, but I'm gonna do more contouring. I don't contour my nose no more. I'm just kind of over it. My nose is really big, a lot of big, big, whatever it is. I just honestly, and even when I'm doing people makeup now, I just kind of stay away from the nose because sometimes we bring more attention to our nose with the dark line going down with this bright light. Now, what I will do though, I do highlight my nose the same because it's still gonna give dimension when I go through and highlight it. But no, I don't I don't do my nose anymore. So y'all won't be seeing that. And what I do is warm myself up some more with the powder. So I can still have a skin look. I'll still have a skin look, but it'll still have a nice finish to it. And you know, if y'all contour y'all know it's fine with me. If y'all contour it away, it's fine. But for Bridget and her clients, we don't do contour notes unless a person requests it, you know. And then I know it's just like this is big. You're gonna put them two lines in your nose this big. To each is their own. It is what it is. <laughs> but y'all see how that makeup has melted and it blends. You know, y'all know I'm like three different colors. But look, see how bright I am down here. It blends. I will be using Tarte Shape Tape to conceal up under my eyes for my highlight. I'm gonna use Pat McGrath number two and four loose powder. I might still go in with some Laura Mercier and Chanel. I just have a, like a mixture of kind of powders, especially up under my eyes, but to set, and have it look like skin, straight Pat McGrath. I'm using two to set everything, and then I'm using four for my contour. When I say this stuff, y'all, it's a little pricey, but when I say it, it melts in your skin, it melts into your skin. Now with my highlight, because I love like a nice, I don't wanna say dewy, I like a nice glow, but I don't wanna use like a ton of powder where it looks overly powder. I'm gonna go in with some Glossier. You guys, this is my favorite on everybody. I'm about to go in with my Bobbi Brown Brick in bronze. Oh, so what y'all thought we was just gonna do that vibe? Uh-uh, baby. We gonna be blonde all summer long. Uh -huh. Look, oh yeah, she got her she got her summer hair too. She got her spring and summer makeup and she got her spring and summer hair. And because we brunching and we doing Sunday, Monday, because I work Friday, Saturday, so I can't do anything else. Anyways, how y'all like this look? Y'all make sure y'all comment. The question of the day is, what is your favorite eyeshadow color for spring and summer and who makes it? Make sure you leave that below. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to drop them in the comments. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Oh, if you haven't, follow me on the Like to Know app and also subscribe to my blog. My baby is finally alive. Bear with me. You know, we're trying to get it out together. But thank you again. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your blessings. Bridget Harrison, aka Bridget H, and I'm out.